In a rooftop greenhouse at the University of Texas, biologist Larry Gilbert studies heliconias. Everybody likes to be on my hand today. So these are pretty cool, aren't they? A type of tropical butterfly with a huge variety of color patterns. The hind wing pattern of this is something that characterizes a species called Heliconius chimeretta. The colors signal to local birds, don't eat me, I'm toxic. But he thinks they do more. The color pattern is a complex of two forces, the anti-predator force, which is probably the predominant thing, but the details may involve the selection of the right mate. With support from the National Science Foundation, Gilbert and colleagues are studying a population of Heliconius that they think is in the process of evolving into two distinct species. Scientists seldom get to witness such a split in the family tree up close. It's known as speciation, when one species branches into two that no longer interbreed. The split seems to be tied to color preference. Where Gilbert's team gathered specimens in Ecuador, yellow and white butterflies of the same species live and mate with each other. But when studying them in captivity, they observed an interesting twist. There is an incipient process going on there where the yellows are preferring yellows, but the whites are not caring much about which color it is. So it's an initial step in the direction of correlating color with mate preference, which under some circumstances could lead to speciation. They've been comparing these guys with some of their close cousins in Costa Rica, where the two different colored butterflies are actually two different species. You have to have some step that causes individuals to quit interacting with other individuals in their population. Gilbert is also keeping a close eye on mating choices at this butterfly greenhouse, part of the 82-acre Brackenridge Field Lab. This is serious nature. Everything from uh, fire ant research, frogs, butterflies, snakes, you name it. Next up for Gilbert, identifying the genes responsible for the difference in heliconius color and mate preference. It's all part of watching evolution in action. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.